So you enjoyed a nice little uh, ride all the way to Michigan today. You enjoy that weather this morning? Uh, it was it was nice. It was cool. It was comfortable. Um, I got a, a few sprinkles on me, but I'm I I do not melt. So that was good. <laughs> uh. Well, the thing is, is that we are going to be continuing to see that rain as we head in the next couple hours. So it will be something we'll just have to be you know dealing with, and we will be seeing that rain into tomorrow and actually returning as we head into our midweek. We will get a nice dry day on Tuesday. So if you're looking forward to a little bit of the drier weather, we'll get at least one day of that because we're looking ahead right now and we'll be seeing another rain system moving in as we get into our midweek. We'll talk about that in just a little bit, but I want to get back to what we're seeing right now. Live radar, very isolated little showers here. A little bit of that lake effect rain is going to be putting into effect as we head into our afternoon and evening and overnight. So it'll be something we'll be watching as the lake is going to be remaining in those low to mid 60s. Meanwhile, our air temperature here is going to start dwindling into the 40s as we head into our overnight temperatures right now. Still pretty cool out there. A lot of us in those low 50s. It's been a very cool day. One of those cooler ones. We're actually going to be seeing some temperatures about tomorrow. It's going to be just a very cool, almost 10 degrees below average. And the thing is, is we're having a very difficult time getting above average. So we kind of went from last week sitting 10, 15 degrees above average to now we're struggling to just get to the average temperatures this time of year. 12 hour temps. Yeah, we're about to bottom out the chart again. We're going to be seeing those temperatures continuing to dwindle as we head into our overnight. More than likely, a lot of us will wake up to some low 40s. So maybe crack open the window just a little bit. Not a ton because you're going to be getting pretty chilly. I did that a few nights ago and woke up. I think my apartment was sitting at like 61, 60 degrees. Yeah, it would, uh, I, a little bit overkill there. But we're going to continue to see that lake effect rain moving across as we get into our overnight few late night plans. Keep that umbrella on you. You'll be needing that. And as you're waking up on Monday, we'll see this continuation of the very cool temperatures. Could start seeing some low 30s in those areas that do avoid that rainfall. Less humidity will let that temperature fall down just a little bit more. Going to start clearing out as we get into that afternoon, though. Temperatures still cool despite the lack of the rain and a little bit less clouds as well as we get into the last couple hours of the day. Now, wind chills will be something we'll be having to deal with is we're seeing a lot of this feeling closer to the upper to mid uh, 30s and there could be some low 30s in there as well. We might actually see a frost advisory not tomorrow, but Tuesday morning. We're looking at a couple of these wind chills possibly getting into the 20s. Yeah, it's going to start feeling pretty chilly next couple of mornings. Now we're looking ahead right now. We'll be seeing another little system moving in as we head into that Friday and Saturday. And that's going to be bringing us some pretty decent little rain chance. So back this up just a little bit uh, just to show you when this system is going to roll through. So you can see hot low pressure moves in across the central part of the plains forms a cold front just out to our west and it brings itself into Michiana as we head into that Friday. This is late Friday right here. We're going to be seeing this good little system of rain. Could see some thunderstorms, not expecting anything severe. We're going to be way too cool to be supporting severe weather, but as this does make its way past us, we'll be watching as we see more wraparound moisture on that Saturday. Could see some rain even by the time USC is going to be in town. So there's that cold front right there. Good rain chances Thursday and Friday, especially Especially Friday afternoon and evening. That's when that cold front's going to pass by. We're looking at another dowser as we head into that Friday afternoon. Temperatures do try to get a little bit warmer in the next couple of days. We'll be getting back into the low 60s, still below average. But as we get that Saturday and Sunday on the other side of the cold front, yeah, it's going to bring us back down. We'll be seeing those highs back into the mid 50s with those temperatures in the overnight getting in the low 40s. So it's going to be pretty chilly as we head into the next little bit as we head into the little part of our next work week and next weekend. So I believe when USC does come into town, we're likely going to be a little bit soggy, if nothing else for the rain we saw on Friday. But again, a little what we call wraparound moisture. George says the low passes that bring a little bit of rain. and We could see that on Saturday and Sunday as well. Well, I'm glad you mentioned USC because sports